They are super sport. They have been a team that whenever we play them, we're just not at our best. Didn't forget about the loss that we had against them when we played them at home. We needed to do a revenge. We had to bring that game and say we're still heading from that game. Getting the three points, it was showing that we are back and we had to do business. A difficult team, very good team to be honest, strong. But fortunately, Tapelo scored again from outside the box. Coming back home, you know, we're just going to have to settle everything. Second round, we have to win also to go to the group stages. After getting the second goal, that's when we started to dominate proper, like show them this is our house and then these are our rules. We get the ball and then you just mark and you dance our tune. Yes, Serino and Serino calls it. So oh, stunning. Tonight they win 4 0 against Asatoba. Next month, I want us to be more dominant, to put fear on our opponents. We have to suffocate them, we have to score as many goals as we can. So far, so good, to be honest. Sometimes in life, we can be a little bit ungrateful and become a little bit greedy. But that comes to the background of being ambitious. And there's nothing wrong in trying to be better all the time. Yes, it could have been better, but the Champions League is still in your hands. You don't need favors. The top eight, MTN eight, is still also in our hands. The league, the APSA Premier League, also is not far away. Two points behind the log leaders. We're not out of any competitions so far. So far, so good. We are looking good. Celtics is going to be a difficult game. You saw when we play against them here, yeah? it was a tough match. But what I believe, if we can take our chances, I think we can bury the game in. The problem about us, we don't take our chances as early as possible because whenever we don't take chances, the team gain confidence. They come at us, then they get that goal. Now we need to go and fight to equalize, you know. But I think if we can take our chances, we can bury the game in. Blue Celtic kept coming at us. They were strong, they were assertive. It was their home game and they, they played it the way it was supposed to, they attacked. From minute one, they showed that they want to win. It was not easy to get our rhythm because they had the ball. And we know as Sundowns, we always have the ball. And it was a different case this time. Possession turned back to the champions. Long range shot, oh, it struck the upright. And the follow up is in the back of the net. Like a trainee, he's been saying that whenever he takes a shot, you must follow up. When he got the ball, I thought maybe he was going to cross because we had numbers in the box. So I was running to a space where I thought maybe he could see me. But to my surprise, he took a shot and then hit the post and he came straight to me and I tapped it in. It was a good feeling considering that they were coming at us, you know, they were not giving us a break. After scoring, most people, what they do is they over celebrate and then they tend to concede. So what we try to do is after we, we score a goal, we try so hard to concentrate, you know, not to give anything away. We just thought, you know what, because they were pressing us high, they have quick players also. So, so let's just keep it clean and uh, the second one will come. Well, yes, Kekana now. Good challenge from the court, so penalty! Whenever you put teams under pressure, at some point they're going to crack. So I think that's what we did early in the second half and then we kept the position and then we kept going at them and then suddenly they cracked. We've been struggling with scoring just one goal and then all of a sudden the other team, they get the feeling that if we get one back, we can actually win the game or we can draw the game. So after we got the penalty, I was like, okay, there's a second one coming. At least they take a bit of pressure off our shoulders and it allows us to play more freely. Well, this might be a chance now. Yes, it's been given handball. No chance for Johnny there, it was right against him. Somehow it gave them the belief that they can come back, even though it was late. But after they got the penalty, you could sense that the fans were behind them and then suddenly they were pressing high and they were coming with us. Like you said, we've been doing this years and years, so we knew how to absorb the pressure and uh, we did exactly that. This MTN8 Cup is a cup that the media is mocking me about. That you've won them all at Sundowns, but not this one. Of course, my military Sundowns, I think they've won it before, but we haven't won it together now in this era where I have been at my military Sundowns. It's a big challenge that they're hearing us. Yeah, we have to deliver, we have to bring it home. It's about time.
Cup games are different board games, you know. You have to win at all costs. So I think it's going to be a difficult game. I mean, they also they have been playing well. We also come from winning. So I think it's going to be a tough game, an interesting game. We just have to be focused, do the principles right. Every chance we get, we have to make sure that we convert them. Yes, they are stronger than us, they are bashing us physically on set pieces, they are always looking dangerous. So we need to be smart and clever and know not to commit fouls on areas there where they will harm us. Every team poses a threat. Every team has its own qualities, but we don't really focus on their qualities. We focus on ours. We only do us. If they want to do other things, it's up to them. We'll just try to see how we'll stop them. But the main thing is how we're going to win the game. We just have to focus on us and make sure that we win. On the count of three. One, two, three. Mule oh. now teasing the defense. Bashera. Gets the ball across, wonderful goal, Kabuja this time. I think that goal the coach always highlighted to us. That's what they play for. Get the ball behind us, go to the side and put it across. And I don't think it was much of a surprise that he did. But from my side, I felt a bit disappointed that we considered in a way that we actually prepared for them to come. At that time when it happened, the morale was a bit down. Normally what the team does is come down, wait for half time and recruit. But then the guys had a different plan. We need to get goal as quick as possible and that's what the guys did. Zwane and Furman battling away. Langerman with a cross, just behind the Lakati. Chance for Serino! There's a quick answer. Straight back in the game. Mamaloni Sundowns equalised. Our marking was not at its best in the first leg. Fortunately, we didn't score from a set piece, even though we had six and sevens that Dennis Onyango saved us a lot on set pieces against them. Very big, powerful team, plays to its strength, plays the personnel that they have. The strength is on aerial strength and a little bit of speed from Gabuza and Rosike. He gave us a little bit of hard time, but we got the right results. 1-1 one, one for the return neck. I think we still have it in our hands. We just don't want to be overconfident and say we have the away goal and go to the second leg. In our mind, that would be a dangerous thing to do. So right now, we just forget about the previous game. We do 1-1, one, one, and then the next game, we want to win. No matter what, we just want to go into the finals. It's not solely my idea to call this press conference. We've got a WhatsApp group where we chat as coaches, and Steve Compella came with the idea to say, guys, we need to do something about this. We need to have a voice. So I felt that I should come out also and do the right thing to make sure that a campaign against xenophobia and a campaign against gender-based violence, we can't ignore what we see. We need to stop this xenophobia stuff. And also, we as Mamelodi Sundowns, we are ambassadors of South Africa also, when we travel and play Champions League. And we've been treated well. We go to shopping malls and people greet us, man. I was in Zambia now when we were in the preseason. I mean, it's like I was home. It's like I'm in South Africa. Everybody greets, I coach, I coach. How are you, how's the team? It's like home. And football is one platform of social cohesion. It has no color, it doesn't care where you come from. It's, it's a game you play. Sports unite, man. We, we forget who we are. When we celebrate the goal, when we fight, we fight together. I mean, it's beautiful, no one rainbow nation. Every year we, we travel around Africa and uh, the reception we get is amazing. You have to put yourself in other people's shoes. What has happened, you think about, am I safe to go to the next country? Am I going to be welcome the same to the other countries? At some stage, you have to forget about it and focus on what you go in there for. The rest that the coach gave the team was good because we've been playing Wednesday, Saturday. It was just, the games were just coming thick and fast. And I think you just need to maybe just 
take a moment and just recuperate and just get everything back, get the legs back and just maybe just take a few days away from football so that you can become, what can I say, more hungry again for the game. So I think that five days did as well and also it was, I can say, a blessing for our players who went to the Bafana camp when the game was called off, which means they also got a chance to rest. We're looking forward to this game against Kodo and the guys are well rested and everybody's looking sharp and they're ready to go. We have a way of making a, a joke to say we're playing fishermen and uh, the fishermen surprised us last time we were there. We were one goal behind and we had to equalize. We came out with a draw with the fishermen. So that was a good lesson for us. We did sort it out at home. I think the score would be them 4-0 if I'm not mistaken. And that was then, so it means that football has improved. To be honest, they're part-timers. They're not like us, they're not full-time. They do have other jobs that they do, but that's nothing when it comes to the match. When the whistle goes, the match starts. It's the energy levels, it's the mentality, it's the tactics. It doesn't matter what job you do, it's what you put in there. So we should respect them because anything is possible. Yeah, obviously when you come here, you think of holiday, you immediately see everybody's in a relaxed mode, uh, holiday vibes. But we know why we are. We know that we have a job at the end. We need to prepare ourselves mentally for the game as well as physically because it's, it's quite humid here. The team that we're playing up against, they know who we are, but then again, we know nothing about them. Which means they want to prove themselves to tell the people on Seychelles that they can give Sundowns a run for their money. The place is beautiful, it's amazing, and it has amazing people. Their food is also amazing, because everything is like here in South Africa. The fruits are fresh, everything is fresh. Sometimes I get sick when we're going away, maybe when we go to play in Congo. Because of the food, it's different from here. So there, everything was perfect. Yeah, I think we're okay, we're feeling fresher. Yeah, although we still have some of the knocks when we play on the Astro Champ, it's not easy, but we need to adjust on it. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, it is very difficult because in SA we use TEF. When you come this side, you need to adjust and the heat. You know, Astro Champ, when you turn, it's not that easy. You need to strap enough your ankle so that it can balance you whenever you turn. On an artificial pitch, the ball moves a bit quicker and you have to take much more care of your passes compared to on a normal field. So you have to be focused when controlling and when passing the ball. That's probably the difficulties of playing on an artificial pitch and also the fact that when it is hot or humid, you feel it under your feet. We normally try and press the teams high up and force them into errors. So even with this team now, they're not the best of teams. So that is why we need to go to them and tell them that we are to play. For us, putting high pressure, that is one of our game plans. These guys are not professional. They work part-time as well. For us going with that attitude, saying that from the first whistle, the year for business will send a statement to them as well and saying, this is Sundowns here and that is why we got to start on our badge. I also don't know much about the kind of game that our coach calls at the close book. You don't know who you're playing against, you don't know the opponent you're coming up against. It's a game where you have to be focused from the first whistle until the last whistle. Probably it's kind of the team that they will give everything until the last whistle. So you just have to concentrate and get as many goals as you can so that when they go back to South Africa, then we know that we're in a good position to go to the next round. I'm hoping that we can win four. Not like I'm undermining the team, but I'm hoping that we can win four zero. So that when they come that side, then we wrap it, you know. Because if you check our schedule, the games come back to back. In those games, we need one game that we don't even have a prayer. We just throw the ball, even though we don't score, but we know that this league we have done the proper job and it's finished.
when the game starts, we need to check how are they going to play, how are they going to approach the game. So those are the kind of uh, situations that we are facing that are difficult. But we can make it the job to be is for us. We take it as a cup final. When the game starts, we just go to them, we take our chances as early as possible. I was free because the guy that was marking me and Lai went with Lai inside the box. So I had an opportunity to look up and put sugar through. I was very happy because it was my first assist at my Melody Sundowns, so I was very happy. Because of the pitch, we tried to have more possession of the ball so that we can be in control of the game. And we knew they were going to sit back because of their formation, the way they played. So for us, it was just to keep the ball, try and play in between the lines and trying to break them down. And first off, they were closing the inside pass. So for us, it was trying to go to the sides and then putting the ball in. I don't think they could keep that same structure for the whole game. And in the second half, it showed and we got our chances and we converted it. When we come to second half, they were already tired because of the work that they did in the first half. So that's why we scored more goals in the second half than in the first half. The boy is unbelievable. He's growing so much. He's aware of his surroundings. He always checks before he receives the ball. He knows who's where and he knows what to do. And it's just unbelievable that he managed to find me without even looking at me. He just heard my voice because if a young player is able to play for the team and not for self glory, it's really good to see that he's growing in the right direction and he's got a, a very, very bright future ahead of him. Not an easy one because I had to run to get the, in that position. The keeper was closing and there were opponents there, so I was very happy. It's a big achievement for me. Playing in the CAF Champions League, it has motivated me a lot because it's everybody's dream to play in the CAF Champions League. And playing 90 minutes, I felt amazing after the game and contributing into the goals. That was a great feeling. When it comes to the club, it's something that the coach and the club has been missing out on a few years now. It's not going to be easy. The first league, we drew 1-1. And I would like to think that the advantage is on our side because of the away goal that we have. But you know, at the end of the day, that don't always matter because anything can happen. Super Sport United, ever since they played as well, their first league game, they've developed a way of playing. And that has came up with them playing big teams in the country. I mean, they've played us, they've played Orlando Pirates, they've played Kaiser Chiefs, they've played with Vets. Vets. We're playing a team that's on form and has full confidence now. So now they've got their tails up, they are strong, they're big boys, and they play to their strength. So they don't waste time, they don't like to build up. The first ball that they start from the back, they send it through. They remind me of the old Wimbledon football club, you know, with the fashion in them and Vinnie Jones. They had the boy. Those guys were unbelievable. So they send it up and they have uh, Gabuza and, and Robla, who's very good aerially, and it's not very easy to, to contain them. And the funny part is that their attack with those big boys is quick. Gabuza is very quick. Rosica is quick. It's a very good game for us at Mamelodi Sundowns to deal with this kind of a game, to deal with this kind of opponents, because this is the kind of opponents we find in the Champions League. Yeah, I'm hungry for a week. For me personally, I want that cup because the only cup that I left with, I don't have empty in it. So I want it more. I need to work more to help the team to win. We need to keep a clean sheet. And how do you keep a clean sheet with a team that is really giving you trouble for 90 minutes? You know how football is, anything can happen. You can't defend everything for 90 minutes. There's always mistakes to be done by them, by us. The only thing that will give us a good feeling on the game is for us to score first. The one team, if you allow them to play, they can hit anyone. We just have to be aware of that. 
We just have to focus on us, make sure we do the right things, create chances and score goals. We knew that we were in the driving seat because we had the away goal. We knew that they needed to come to us and we just kept the tempo to our style of play and for us to detect the game. Unfortunately, we lost the ball in the centre of the park and we conceded too early and that's where things became a little bit challenging. Our game plan really was to deny them opportunity to be on our half, so they managed to get that goal which changed the whole complexion of the match because then we had to shuffle the system and try to put numbers into their half and as a result we are going to be vulnerable at the back. Driving shot that finds the back of the net, Jamie Weber off the bench and settling the match. The second goal, they caught us on the blind side. They played the diagonal ball. We were a bit short on the one side, and that's where they killed us with the second goal. But we know we need to fix it on Saturday when we play Maritzburg United. We need to show up, just not for ourselves, but also for the supporters, president, everybody who's behind us, and to show them that it was a bad day at the office, but we need to rectify it. So we just need to step up and show the people that we're back to winning ways. Our supporters are amazing. Our supporters are unique. The supporters that stay behind still sing for us, still sing for me. When we lose the match, when we don't feel good, it just shows that we have something right going on. And that has helped us to win the titles because the 12th player believes in us. It's a culture, it's a good thing. It helps the players mentally to not be afraid to play in a match that, oh, if we lose, we're not getting back match. You know? It's a good spirit. As long as we don't take it for granted. You know, when you lose a match, you get humbled. When you lose a match, you look at many things. You look at your team proper, you look at the mistakes, you look at why we don't score enough, why we don't defend proper and stronger. A loss helps a lot. It's, it's very good sometimes to lose because you'll bounce back. It humbles you and it makes you be aware of your weaknesses. As much as I say, winning sometimes is good. It brings the team together. You know, a loss also can be something else, humility also. But the challenge is that you must win more than you lose. Coming to training today in the coaches' training session that we just wanted to get the spirits up. And after two days, the guys reflected and they know that it's gone and we threw it away. We need to focus on the league now because that's our next fixture and just regroup and go for the league. We're playing home. We just come from a defeat, so we need to step up so they should know what's coming. Unfortunately for Marysburg, they're up against us. Hopefully we do the job from the first whistle and score as much goals as possible. always find it difficult to play against Maris, but they always give us a tough time. But yeah, look, we're up for a challenge. I think we know the importance of this match. We just have to take every point that comes our way because I'm anticipating a very tough season. But we have to take our points and we have to make sure that we win our matches. We started well. Our attitude was totally different from the Super Sport United game in the second leg. We kept trying, we kept trying, we pushed, we fought, we dominated and we wanted to win and play in the half. We regained the ball well, we pressed well. It was one of the good games. We broke the ice with Gaston Serino. He was calm in the box there and he's got the talent, we dribbled and finished very well. It was important to win for the para la confianza del equipo, para lo que se viene. Y nada, obviamente es un, es un, es un torneo largo donde siempre hay que mantener el protagonismo de la liga. Así que nada, hay que seguir, hay que seguir. And then we suffered a set piece again with the goal from corner kick, where everybody has been criticizing us to say that Sandro's weakness is on set pieces and free kicks. Yeah, probably they're right. You can't defend set pieces and corner kicks well against Super Sport United. And then we concede to a team that doesn't have enough height. At least we scored the second goal at the end when it was about, I think, two, three minutes left. Lyle K came in as a super sub and he unleashed with his right. The ball gained a little bit of height because it deflected a bit from the defender. But fortunately, because he hit it very well, he did not change direction that much. When I took my first touch and I turned, as I turned and nobody pressed me, I decided, no, yeah, I'm going to shoot. Obviously, because of my right foot, you can see on the goal, so the ball was bouncing and obviously I took a bit longer to lift my leg, whereas with my left foot is more natural. But as I lift my foot and I took the shot and I saw it hit the guy's back, I knew it was in because the keeper was flat-footed. 
been a good month for the team. The only disappointment was getting eliminated from the MTN8. It's a cup that's been eluding the club for quite some time now, you know, and it's one that we wanted. And it's always that last hurdle that we stumble. But on a personal note, I think it's been a good month. I finished the month with two goals and one assist, which is always good because you're contributing to the team also. And I would hope to continue from where I left off. For me as a coach, it was so important to win that match because you need to turn the team around. You need them to get back. The only way to win the match, and then you're only as good as your last match. So remember that match. So that's where you are. And this week, we will be facing the Cavs Champions League second leg with Utro. And let's see how it goes. Spaghetti and the marshmallows. <laughs>